right guys, today we're headed to the town of Dennis, Massachusetts, located right here on Cape Cod. We're going to be visiting a Native American burial ground. Now if you're a fan of my channel, you know I do a lot of cemetery tours, and I get a lot of comments, well what about the Native Americans? So I researched and there's a Native American burial ground just about 15 minutes from my house. So that's where we're headed right now. We're going to take a walk around and see what we can find. So here we are along the 6A in Dennis, Massachusetts. You can see behind me this sign. The Burial Ground of the Nobscusset Tribe of Indians. Now the burial ground itself is just across the street. See that little hole in the shrubbery there? There's a path that goes way back down to the water. Uh, there's a pond back there. So we're going to take a walk back down there and have a look around. All right, so to get to this place, you actually have to go down this long corridor of, of shrubbery here, which is actually pretty well maintained. Burial Ground of the Nobscusset Tribe of Indians of which tribe Nashon Tempain was chief. And you can see just beneath it here, a lot of people have left seashells, which I think are some type of symbolic offering. The burial ground overlooks beautiful Lake Scargo from its north shore. I would guess it to be two acres or less, this historic piece of property, and it's enclosed by a short wrought iron fence and identified only by two markers. The first sign that we saw out there on Route 6A and then as we came in here, just to the entrance of the burial ground, there was that other sign that we saw. Otherwise, it's really inconspicuous and would be hard to find if you didn't know it was here. The number of burials here is unknown. Even the exact dates of usage have been lost to historical record. It is believed that the chief, Mashan Tempain, is buried here. He dates from the 17th century. The indigenous people of the area, which we now call Cape Cod, were engaged in beaver skin trading with both England and France. Back in the year 1614, English captain Thomas Hunt captured more than 20 Nobscusset people and brought them to Spain to sell as slaves. The captures, rightfully so, outraged the Nobscusset and they stopped the trading. In the years 1618 through 1619, a plague killed most of the Nobscusset people. It is believed that the burning of the dead from that plague marks the origins of this burial ground. The Nobscusset were actually the first tribe of natives to meet the pilgrims who arrived on the Mayflower ship in the year 1620. The pilgrims had come ashore looking for food and found bushels of corn that the Nobscusset had left as an offering for their ancestors. The pilgrims, of course, took as much of the corn as they could before the Nobscusset were able to shoo them off. Years later, the pilgrims returned to the Nobscusset and began converting them to Christianity. The Nobscusset people became one of several tribes in Massachusetts that became known as Praying Indians. In 1793, what few Nobscusset Indians that survived the plague were killed by neighboring Indian tribes. The town of Dennis voted to fence in this burial ground in 1828 and have been maintaining it ever since. Have you noticed there's been quite a few turtles left here as offerings? I know that the natives of the area, and I believe other tribal nations across North America, often referred to the earth as Turtle Island. Interestingly, while doing research online to make this video, I was very surprised to find that there's very little information about the Nobscusset tribe, and I could hardly find any information at all on Chief Mashan Tampane, not even an artist's depiction. I did, however, find something interesting from the Massachusetts Archaeological Society about the last full-blooded native here on the Lower Cape. His name was Micah Wraith and was a direct descendant of Chief Mashan Thampain. It really quite saddened me to think this tribe of natives who loved and cherished this land so very much no longer exist. Instead, modern white man has taken over and with them came over-harvesting of natural resources and endless pollution. Perhaps one day, mankind as a whole will become extinct, and the Earth will once again find its natural balance. Or better, perhaps, 
we can learn to love the Turtle Island the way we should while we're all still here.